All right, I wanted to show you this Emerson electric quarter horsepower electric motor that I took apart. It's a pulled off of a, an old AMD lathe. It's the motor they were using to power the lathe. And I'm restoring it. And I decided to pop open this electric motor to clean it up. I'm not sure exactly how old it is, but you can see how grimy and greasy it is on the inside. And I ran into a problem with a couple of the wires that I wanted to show you how to fix on these old antique electric motors. Now the problem I ran into was on these wires here that uh, connected to the control board over that was attached onto the bell housing right here. Um, when I pulled these wires off, it's kind of like a, an old type of insulator that they had on it. And it was really dry. And just cracking and disintegrating as I move the wires around and I don't really feel safe using those just the way they are um, so I wanted to fix them up I couldn't find anything on YouTube that said how to fix these wires uh, so I went on to the vintage machinery.org forum and uh, I was able to find a solution on there using just uh, some of these heat shrink uh, tubes and putting those on there and uh, kind of replacing or, or for giving it further insulation using these. So I'm just going to show you how to do that on this. The kind I have are from Harbor Freight. Uh, they came in a, a just a, a multi-pack and this is the quarter inch size right here. Now, it doesn't necessarily fit on there. It's the, the same size as the uh, as these uh, connectors are. But if you squeeze it flat, you can get it to fit over the whole thing. So that's how I'm going to put them on there. Hopefully. These wires are still stiff enough to push them around on there. Once it starts to peek out, I'll get the little pick and kind of pull it a little bit. And I'll leave it right about there. You can kind of see that with the length that we have there, it got almost all the way to the end, and uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's uh, that's all that needs to be done on there, just just that much. So I'll get the other one on there too. Got that one pretty close to the end too, and down at the other end, it's almost completely covering that wire. The other way that you can fix these is to actually splice in a new wire, um, but I didn't want to do that. That was a little bit more work than I was planning on doing for this project. Now I'll just get the, the heat gun and apply heat to this and shrink the tubes up to them.
that should do it. These wires now have new insulation on them, and I feel safe putting this back together and plugging it in again.